26 years old. Abdul Nabi is working in United TV as head of editing and designing department. This young guy is an emblem of hard work, passion, commitment and determination. Perhaps this is the reason he stood best employee of 2020 in his organization. Abdul Nabi was graduated from University of Sindh in 2014. Although he was passionate to continue his higher studies, but he had to come back with his livelihood along with the severe backbone disease. That's why he started a private job. However, he is currently steadfastly striving to support his family by his job as he is also proceeding for Masters in Mass Communication from University of Karachi. In 2009, when Abdul Nabi was 15, the issue in his spinal cord was diagnosed. He consulted with local doctors for some time as he was unaware from the severity of disease. Afterwards, he went to the Jinnah Hospital in Karachi and underwent process of tests and x-rays. All the reports were presented to the Board of Orthopedics, headed by Dr. Ghulam Mahbu, who was also head of orthopedics department. The doctors told him that there were no chances of operation because of some serious complications. According to them, operation could lead towards multiple sufferings of being paralyzing or any other more serious issue. In an aftermath of the situation examined by the board, they had prescribed him steel jacket in order to hinder the rapidly growing curve and growth of backbone. He used to wear steel jacket for two years until he was turned 18. I faked this disease when I was 15 years old. I consulted with the panel of orthopedic in Jinnah Hospital Karachi. They told me that the operation was not a possible. On their advice, I started using the steel jacket for three years until I turned 18 years. The jacket was not a long-term solution and it was a pending experience as it was hindering the growth of backbone. Now the treatment from India cost $28,000 and this process will take about one and a half year. Around two years back, he contacted a hospital in India. The doctors over there advised some x-rays and MRI and he did so. But due to pandemic, he was unable to proceed ahead. This costs approximately 28,000 US dollars and he is looking forward to the philanthropist for assistance. This dynamic gentleman can prove his abilities in the field of graphic designing with his grasp in this field if supported by the humanitarian organizations.